I'm here in Marysville, Ohio, the center of Honda country. Just a mile or so away, they're kicking out 800 Honda Accords and Acura TLXs a day. But in this very special location, they're only going to build eight of these Acura NSXs a day. They have got 12 patents pending on different ways of doing things in this plant. Uh, there is a unique uh, MIG welding by robot. Nobody else does that in the industry. There are unique ablation castings, a new kind of aluminum casting that absorbs crash energy. Lots of interesting tricks up this car's sleeve. I can't wait to have a look at this plant. Come on along. The NSX's unique 75 degree V6 is assembled in a dedicated 4,000 square foot area one hour away from the PMC in Anna, Ohio. Each NSX engine is assembled by a single technician with each of its 547 critical bolts or studs started by hand and then machine torque. Like any good supercar, the engine is bristling with great technology. One cool feature that I think is different with this one than most others is that it is balanced after it's fully assembled and all the fluids are in it. They motor it at 1,000 RPM and measure any kind of front to rear imbalance and then extra little bolts are added for mass in the front and bolts are switched on the dual mass flywheel to add mass in the back, counteracting any kind of imbalance and guaranteeing a smooth running machine. It turns out you can't beat ultra high strength steel to form a slender but strong A-pillar and roof rail. This one starts with a straight hot steel tube that gets bent to shape and quenched for extra strength. The NSX's aluminum space frame boasts several unique features. Like most, it's mostly made up of extrusions welded to castings and to each other. These parts are mostly joined by MIG welding, which can generate enough heat to distort the parts. Some companies account for this by machining all the critical suspension and powertrain mounting points after the space frame is completed. Honda machines its thinner castings before assembly and controls for dimensional accuracy by using faster robotic MIG welders and programming them to weld on opposite sides of a part so that any heat distortion in one direction is corrected with heat distortion in the opposite direction. Pretty clever. A cutting edge paint innovation is zirconium primer. The space frame and metal closure panels get dipped into a caustic cleaning bath, two rinse baths, and an electrically charged zirconium bath. Relative to the phosphate based e-coat primers that most cars utilize, zirconium produces no sludge. The space frame stays black so the aluminum body panels and the other painted parts made of SMC, TPO, ABS, and g plastics get loaded onto a special buck for painting. The primed space frame gets mounted to a patent-pending rotisserie that makes it easy for a single operator to fully seal the NSX against dust and noise in about two hours. After it cures for 30 minutes, the operator mounts a special projector that shines pink light everywhere sealant should be. Robots do most of the work, applying up to five coats of base and four coats of clear paint. Humans check their work and make fixes where necessary. Uh, interesting things that differentiates the Performance Manufacturing Center from most assembly plants is the fact that the body panels are almost the last thing to go on the car. This car is assembled, everything is built, and the thing is started and run before almost any of the exterior body panels are put on. That keeps the paint pristine. No one ever has to reach over it. And in fact, after the, paint, uh, the painted body surfaces go on, everyone who touches them must wear these special calfskin leather gloves to prevent any kind of damage like that. The frame becomes a car by spending about 62 minutes in each of 22 workstations. The only robot on this line applies the adhesive used to bond the painted door surrounds, the roof panel, the trunk outer panel, and all the fixed glass. The rest of the painted body panels are applied in one of the very last stations, so there's little chance of them getting scratched. Two patents are pending in the wheel alignment area. One for the reflector mount, which fastens to the wheel center instead of gripping the outer edge of the rim. The other is for an alignment chair that positions the technician comfortably under the car while setting the alignment. A run on this four-wheel dynamometer tests the functionality of the turbos, the speedometer, and other parameters. In another patent pending first, the brake force is measured at exactly 55 millimeters of pedal travel. This way, Acura tests for both brake function and pedal feel. So just a few quick impressions after spending a, a day touring this 200,000 square foot 
Performance Manufacturing Center. Uh, it's interesting, I recently had the chance to tour the Bentley Mulsanne factory, which also puts out about 2,000 Mulsannes a year, too. Very different sort of feeling. This is all high tech. We've got the robotic welding happening right over behind me here. We've got all these coordinate measuring machines and so forth everywhere, you know, quality checks at every, at every turn. Everything's very stark, light gray, you know, red trim, etc. But it fits the character of the car, of course. This is a very high tech, high performance car. It feels like when you see a place like this that has been built in a very high tech, high performance environment. So I think that's pretty fitting.